doing awesome. Oh man, this drunk little bastard, I swear to God. <laughs> He's like if Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory was in a Jack Daniels Association or something like that, I swear to God. It's like a drunk uncle if he never grew one three feet. It's great. Uh, so like I said, you know, we're all from Boston. I've met some very interesting people since moving to Los Angeles. I met the world's worst Donald Trump supporter. Hear me out. Hear me out. Trump supporter, his sister's dating a Mexican guy. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Back, back up for one second. You're telling me you want to prevent all Mexicans from coming inside America but you couldn't stop even one from coming inside of your own sister. I don't know. I ain't sure if you qualified. Some of you were put off by that. So strap the fuck in. It's not gonna get any easier from here on out. Also, uh, for example, um, a buddy of mine, uh, he's really been pissing me off lately because every time we go out, he loves to play his favorite drinking game. Uh, we call it driving. Um, and I keep telling him, like, dog, you're gonna fucking kill somebody. He goes, hey man, you need to relax. I've got God on my side. I'm like, Hey man, you're gay. Uh, the way things have been going for y'all lately, I don't know about that. Uh, and he got so mad at me when I said that to him. He's like, dude, that's fucked up. I'm like, yes, yeah, so is you driving wasted. Like, what the shit? Like, like, listen, I'd rather you be alive and offended than dead and rear-ended. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just kind of made that up. I just kind of made that up. <laughs> Let's keep, I want to keep that. So another thing since moving out here, one thing I've noticed since I've moved to LA, for anyone who's, you know, you know, just from visiting or whatever, one thing I've noticed about LA is that everybody here's got two jobs. Everybody's got two. Everyone's got the job that they say that they do, and then there's the job that they actually do. So, like, I talked to someone who said, I'm like, he said he told me he's a professional screenwriter. I'm like, oh, that's cool. He goes, yeah, and a barista. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? He goes, I think you might just be a barista. I don't know. <laughs> no, my film was used in a college film. You're a barista. For real. <laughs> um, my friend Kaylina says she's a model. I'm like, no, honey, you're just a hot chick with Instagram. That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, also, this year, uh, my favorite one, I'm a professional quarterback in the NFL. Okay. I'm like, no, dude, you are Colin Kaepernick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Sit your ass back down, motherfucker. <laughs> and then I tell people I'm Armenian. They're like, oh, you're an Uber driver. <laughs> I was like, man, get the fuck out of my car. Like, for <laughs> Now, here's the thing. I'm a little hesitant to admit I'm any kind of Middle Eastern at all ever since the current election, because now I have a feeling either one or two things are going to happen. I'm going to be booted out of here, I'm going to be getting a very special tattoo. That's one of the things I... And, and you know what? They're talking about doing patrols of Middle Eastern neighborhoods, and I'm just like, well, shit, if that's the case, then Glendale's going to become Jurassic Park. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> There's gonna be no patrols through that thing. There's just you're just gonna wrap that thing in electric fence and surround it with Turkish flags. To keep them all in. You know what I mean? Like your car, your, like your car is gonna break down outside of Glendale. All of a sudden you're gonna hear. What was that noise? The playing system of the down really, really. <laughs> And honestly, let me, let me say this. Obviously, I don't like any kind of racism towards Middle Eastern people, but as an Armenian Middle Eastern man, there's a small part of me that likes it, and I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> because, see, Armenians, we are the daywalkers of the Middle Eastern community. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we, we walk among y'all white people, and y'all don't care. You're like, oh, Kim Kardashian, we know her, the guy with the crazy husband. We got her, she's cool. Um, but we can, you know, we can pull that card when need be. Like, if we really, really have to, we can go from zero to Bin Laden really, really fast. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like some guy catches you in an alleyway. All right, man, hand over your backpack, fool. Oh, you want my? I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You like my backpack, my friend? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man, that's fine. No, sir, please take it. No, I'm good. No, no, sir, touch it. I don't want to touch it. No, fuck it. No, sir, please, I insist. Take the backpack. I'm only gonna need it another. 13 seconds anyway, take the bag! Why you not? Don't be afraid, huh? Uh, yeah, so, uh... Like most guys in Boston, uh, my mom's fucking crazy. Uh, and I don't mean like, oh, my mom's crazy. I mean like, uh, so you have passed the test. We deemed the defendant here extremely, extremely crazy. <laughs> and, but, you know, for, for multiple, you know, like... But I made my mother crazy. You know what I mean? Like, it was a trade-off. Like, for example... <laughs> You know, 
I would just be really bad at school. You know what I mean? Like I just I I was the worst. I, I couldn't I, I could give my mother nothing to be proud of. You know what I mean? Like my mom is a fucking Detroit Lions fan. Like you know she'll like like she'll like she'll support me, but she knows what she's gonna get at the end. Well, not this season, but most times. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, and, 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 you know, like, God bless my mother, my mother. she didn't understand what learning disabilities were, for, you know, for her, which is like, you weren't trying hard enough, you were just misbehaving in school. Like, the school called the house once, was like, Hi, uh, Mrs. Stevens? Hi, we feel your son might have a slight case of dyslexia. Oh my God, I am so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm gonna sit Mark down, I'm gonna talk with him. He ain't gonna be allowed to watch television this weekend. That motherfucker ain't gonna have fucking dyslexia on Monday, I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> Uh, but also, here's the thing, um, is, but my mom made me nuts, but not, it was all the way she disciplined me. See, my mother never yelled at me, my mother never, yelled. You know, she never hit me. Uh, my mom thought it was best to traumatize me to get me to behave. Was, was that why your mom a serial killer secretly? I'm pretty sure mine was. This is, what my mom, this is what my mom would do when I was being bad. My mom would see me doing something bad or whatever, and she'd walk in and then she'd just stare at me, for, and not, she'd just walk in and be like... <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, just wait till later, and then walk out of the room. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. All of a sudden I hear my door open in the middle of the night, and you're like, oh, and I'm like, oh God, please be the boogeyman. <laughs> or my sexually confused uncle, one of the two. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is the worst thing my mother ever did to me, ever. Um, uh, one time my mom, to get me to behave, I decided that she was gonna fake out a heart attack. Because, yeah, because, you know, if you want your kid to behave, make sure you traumatize them for life. And this is like, swear to God, she's like, Mark, stop jumping to the bed. No, Mark, stop jumping to the bed. No, Mark, I'm going to tell you one more time, stop jumping to the bed. No. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom laid there for 15 minutes with her eyes open. <laughs> but see, that can come back and bite her in the ass, because someday that bitch can have a real heart attack, and I'm going to be like, nah, I ain't falling for it this time. Get the fuck up. No, 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 stop turning blue. So I'm single. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> for, my, for many, 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 many reasons, if you can all tell. Uh, first of all, it's kind of in the way that I look. Uh, I, don't think the, I don't think I look ugly just the fact I kind of look like a fucking rapist a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, I'll look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I should never go near a school, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, one time a girl stopped me mid-set, I was sitting on her bar, she stops me mid-set, and she goes, so what kind of van do you drive? I'm like, god damn, dude, that's, that is, I was getting brutal. And, you know, it, it, like, and even, and I have the most bizarre sexual things happen to me, it's just, I can't, I can't, I can't even explain it, you know what I mean? Because, first of all, girls are never happy about hooking up with me, you know what I mean? They're, 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 they never brag about me, you know what I mean? It's never like, oh my god, it was great. Normally, there's a girl talking about me the next morning to her friends. So, it's along the lines of, so like, Tiffany, did you and that guy, like... <laughs> yeah, I was really drunk, you know what I mean? <laughs> the, and I've had the crazy shit happen to me that, like, with, with, with chicks. Okay, first of all, I had a girl tell me she was a lesbian on our prom night. <laughs> As we're about to have sex. Because <laughs> how bad is it? How, how unappealing do you have to be to be stark naked in front of a girl and that'd be the moment where she goes, you know, I think I was on, I think I have to be honest with myself. Now. <laughs> and she, and she told me, she's like, listen, I was, I, listen, I've been fighting it for a really long time. Like, if you fight it just five more minutes, that's all I'm going to need. <laughs> I had one girl say this to me, she goes, you know, I had sex with her, she goes, I feel we had a shared a real connection. I'm like, awesome. She goes, I just hope you were a con and we're going to be sharing a couple other things. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? And uh, I'm going to leave you with this, this is the weirdest thing. I remember I was hooking up with a girl one time and she just... We were getting it on, and she's like, we're making it, all of a sudden she just reaches in and grabs me. Oh. Right here. And you know, guys, when that happens to us, we're just like, Spy Dance, prepare for glory! <laughs> Get the Trojans! <laughs> so I start doing the same shit to her, and she goes, oh wait, like, I just, we can't. And I'm just, and oh, uh, exactly, that's, that is the, <laughs> sir, that is the correct response. Cause you know what I mean, like, cause guys, when we hear that, you know, it just, it's like the saddest, most heartbreaking thing. It's like when fucking Mufasa died in the Lion King, when we hear that shit. And, and she just goes, and I was like, well, what's the problem? She goes, I didn't shave my legs. What? <laughs> and she goes, I didn't know, I, I heard what you said, but I can't believe you said it, cause I, I'm gonna leave you with this. Cause ladies, we understand you wanna be well kept for us, but let me tell you something. 
there's never been a guy in human history that's had a girl riding his dick and been like, oh yeah, baby, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to. I'm sorry, is that stubble? <laughs> Get off of me! Hey guys, you guys have been fucking unbelievable. Thank you so very much. I love you guys. We'll give that to CJ. You guys have been awesome. Thank you.